Welcome to my channel, my name is Fazetti, and today we are looking at the best villager farm that can be made even on day one. So we're looking at the villager breeder and in this version we are taking advantage of a villager behavior that I haven't seen used this way before and that is the desire of the baby villagers to jump on beds. They just can't help themselves, they have to go find a bed and jump on it. So we use that to our advantage in this farm. And I want to thank Bobbit Pickle, he was the one who originally came up with this idea. I haven't seen it done anywhere else on YouTube, so I think it is an original idea of his. And you can check out his uh, channel down below. I'll put a description, there'll be one at the end as well. But he originally built this on our Skyblock series, so there'll be a link to that down below as well. So both he and I put some Skyblock videos out. So definitely go and check them out. I've jumped on the Lucidity server, and this is possibly the design of a villager farm that you've seen. A uh, number of composters, a few villagers, carrots, and a little canal for the babies to fall into. The problem with this farm is that if you wander too far away, the villagers stop walking around. So if they've just had a baby, everyone stops and the villager ends up, the baby villager grows up and ends up being an adult and messes it up because then you get no more because you'll have more than the number of beds. You'll notice that this farm, or my farm currently, has five villages and four beds. So that's actually happened here on my server. So to fix that, you normally have to knock one of these guys on the head. But the new design fixes this problem. I've never seen it mess up like this. So fingers crossed, this is a thing of the past. So I'm inside the farm here with my villager friends and what you'll notice is we have the water canal going through here that capture the babies but the beds are on the other side. We have trapdoors along here so they have the illusion that they can easily run across and these trapdoors here are to make it so that these guys think they can still get to the beds. So that means that they're still willing to breed but it actually stops them from going across. If there were solid blocks, they'd know that they can't get there and the breeding function wouldn't work. So let's do a bit of a demo of how this farm works. If I push this button here, it dispenses food on the table. So they go and see the food. Let me give them two meals. So they're picking it up and what will normally happen, depending on time of day, is they will start throwing the food to each other. Hopefully we see that. Maybe we won't. This one's more interested in the cat. No, can't see the food throwing, but it will happen. So what I'll do, I'll pop back just as some food gets thrown or a baby pops out, one of the two, and we'll see exactly what happens from that point on. And there we go, we had a baby pop out there very quickly. And he ran straight to the straight to the beds, and now he's a little prisoner down here. So this is where they stop to grow up. This is my little knocky on the head machine. When he grows up, if, I, if, that, if that's down, he'll suffocate in that block. So that's basically how it works. It's very very simple, and it'll just work over and over again. You have to trigger it by feeding him. I've given them a few carrots, so they might have a, a few more babies. If you wanted to really switch it off, I have put an on off switch over here. If we flick that, it will cover, let me just pop up and down here. It will put these blocks here over, the, can I do that? No, yeah. Puts these blocks here over the top of the beds, so they don't become sort of valid beds anymore. And these guys won't successfully breed. So that was just my attempt of a, a little on off switch. And if we flick it back again, they all come back and the breeder will function again as normal. But we just have a bit of a peek underneath here at the redstone. There's nothing too complex going on here. The little lever up top there activates this timer here. 
that powers this piston, which pushes the observer into the other observer. They see each other back and forward, back and forward, and the redstone output just triggers the, yeah, I think it's a dropper, and pops the food up the top, and this uh, hopper chain just keeps them filled up. Nothing too complex here, but if you needed to, you could just manually feed them. So it looks like I've got a question in the audience. Are uh, you up there in the uh, third row? You got a question? Uh, yes, that is the case. Uh, this one is a bit complicated. Let's go have a look at one that's really easy. So here's a more basic version of the farm. It's basically just made out of a wood structure, some glass to make it look pretty. You'll need some wool and some wood for the beds. Uh, maybe a bucket for the water, more wood, a couple of villages from somewhere, some torches. In fact, everything we need is in here. You can see what we got. Um, and some carrots. You know, the carrots on day one are probably going to be the hardest thing to find, especially if you want 64 of them. So this is all the ingredients we need. So let's just have a look. I'm going to have to pinch these carrots here. I'm just going to throw them through the trapdoor in the roof because that's how we feed them. In it goes. They've picked them up already. And it should be a very similar process as across the way, except this time for some reason the hearts work. I don't know why the hearts don't work in the other farm, but anyway. Well and truly got hearts here, so we should be seeing a baby shortly that hopefully... There he goes, and straight towards the bed, straight into the water, straight over here. Um, this one's got a more painful ending. So yeah, that is the very simple version of the farm. Hurry up. Thank you. Uh, that's the simple version. There's definitely you know, nothing difficult here. You can make this day one. And I will now quickly make it for you, although it's pretty basic. Uh, you can probably work it out, but let's go make it over here. So here I've got a little template of where the farm's gonna go. It is seven wide, eight deep, and there's a little bit that juts out here where the babies go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just dig a two deep trench all the way along. A bit harder to get through the wall and just needs to end up over here somewhere. And next I am going to build up the walls around the edge. Okay, so they're three high. While we're here, we might as well just chuck the water in there. And then next I think, let me move these out of the way and put the beds down here. We will lay the beds. So the beds have to go this way with their pillows facing away. So that's that job done. And now let's chuck down some trap doors. Stick it on this side. Down like that. And let's do the other trapdoors as well. So the little secret for those trapdoors is you can put a block down. So if I put some blocks along here, they're little temporary ones, we'll get rid of them. Go back to these and shift and place them on top and shift on top again. You gotta make sure that you're sort of facing towards them when you place them. If you're doing them sort of like that, they'll end up uh, folding up the wrong way so then we can fold these up and they're all folding up the right way and chop these up wish I had something better than stone stone um, weapons but there to get out you can probably just run across here and dig your way out so just while we remember let's put some torches in there we'll put one up the back there just to keep that area lit up and probably one there and one there and then we can put the glass along the front like so a little bit difficult putting these panes on they can be a pain and what else we're going to do ladders up the side so we can get on the roof uh, ladders They go and up on the roof here I'm going to put all the slabs down so let me just race off and do that 
Okay, so it's pretty much done. The only thing now is to get our villagers in here. Um, in normal Korea, in normal survival, it's going to be a little bit harder than this, but one, two, in they go. And that is the farm ready to go. Are they both there? I guess they are. Uh, I've noticed it's getting dark. I'm going to wait till morning. There they go. Wait till morning and then feed them and uh, we should see a baby. Okay, it's morning. The sun is just coming up. Let's jump on the roof and throw some carrots at them. Just like we did before. And out. Hopefully they see them. There they go. Now fingers crossed. There we go. We've got a food fight going on. Then maybe some hearts. Can we see some hearts? There we go. And then we should see a baby and all going to plan. The baby should see the beds and race off to them straight away. There's the baby. Stop looking at your parents. There's beds over there. There we go. Straight over to the beds. Still jumping along trying to get to the beds. But yeah, so he's going to end up over here where I almost ended up just then. So that is the farm all done. So that's it for this farm. It is very, very simple. But I've got to say thanks for watching this far. Um, if you're obviously you're still watching this, so you're a bit of a legend. And just a reminder to go and check out Bob at Pickle's channel. I, there is definitely a link down below. He has a much more detailed tutorial on this. He has a a villager pickup system and all sorts of things added to the side of it as well. So definitely worth a watch. Go over to watch his video and just send him a comment saying that I sent you or something. And uh, that's it. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to Bobbit as well. And I'm going to put a world download, this particular one right here. If you want to just download the world and, and suss it out, make sure you do check them. I operate on Java. This is running 1.15.2. Um, any version where the villager babies jump on beds should work with this and fingers crossed all versions in the future. I'm not sure about other platforms. You can test them out and comment down below if they're working on the Xboxes and Windows 10s of the world. But that will do me. Subscribe, hit like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.